All right. So, with the passing of Neil Adams, I thought I would do my first video on Neil Adams. Uh, I just got this book recently. Um, I was trying to look on YouTube to see if anybody reviewed this book, and not a single person has. So it's The Art of Neil Adams. I think it's like a 30-page book, 32-page book. And I really love Neil Adams' artwork. I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, I don't agree with him on certain things, like his belief in tracing. But if you look at his artwork, I feel like there's so much of like a natural feel to it that I don't think there's any tracing going on. And I can tell just by the gesture. So we're going to open this bad boy up. Um, I'm shocked that nobody has done a video on this yet, but here we go. So here's the first page. Um, I was hoping for more of a sketchbook situation, but uh, I'm fine with this. Um, I mean, his realism was unbelievable. And the inks. I don't know if he did the inks on this. I imagine he did. Um, you know, here's some information on some of the artwork that he did. This came out in 1975. They're uh, printed on special and expensive coated paper so that you may color this with almost any form of coloring you wish pens markers pencils and watercolor etc I don't know why you would want to do that um, the other thing I noticed about this is I really do enjoy that there's like a mixture you know of Marvel and DC one thing I noticed when looking through this is there's not there's like no Batman you know Neil Adams I think for me at least is known for doing Batman um, but I mean, I love this first page. This seems like this is a close-up, but probably an already done panel. But I really enjoy this. The one thing I do notice about Neil Adams, though, is that some of his bodies look stiff. This may have been traced. This is a strong possibility this may have been traced. But when he gets really, um, when the gesture is really up, you can definitely see it. And then some of his stuff looks really stiff as well when he's not using a lot of gesture. So let's go to the next page. I mean, this is unbelievable. This feels like a very gestural drawing. This does not feel like something that he traced. Not even close. Um, he may have traced it through a light box from gesturing it, but... Um, yeah, and I mean, that horse. The horse is unbelievable. And the inking is just amazing. This drawing, to me, I dig it. I like it, but it looks like a it looks like a Richard Corbin drawing for some weird reason. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> it, it just feels like Richard Corbin sometimes. Very um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? I don't know. It's just it's just I can't explain it. But yeah, I I really like that. Um. But then there's some things that I don't like about it. I don't know. It it feels, to me, it feels a bit stiff. So here's some posters, some movie posters. Now this, I guarantee you, there was a lot of tracing going on with this. So, that for sure. And then you get into this. Oh man, look at that. He had to have put some kind of effect on it. I mean, look at that. The flow of the hair. Just amazing. The ink work. Just unbelievable. Neil Adams, man. He was a master, that's for sure. More stuff that I believe <laughs> was traced. The realism, though, man. Unbelievable. I wonder if he was a fan of Loomis. I know he's a fan of Norman Rockwell. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look at that ink work. and 
just amazing. It's so weird because when you look at his work, you go, this is something that I think he did without any tracing whatsoever. I mean, the arm is quite long. But it looks good. I mean, the arm, to me, at least the pr proportions of the arm looks, looks, looks a bit longer than it should be. But I mean, that foreshortening, the anatomy, just absolutely spot on. And then you get these little pieces in the back that are not... I think this is the first piece that actually just has pencils. You know, that gesture of fume by like coming down there, doom right there, boom, boom. You know, just unbelievable gesture there. Um, yeah, I love that. Absolutely love that. Um, but some of it is penciled and some of it is inked. There's not a lot of sketches in this book, but there's a fair amount. All right, so let's 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 bring this down a little bit. Um, I mean, look at that. That probably took him a long time to do. Sorry, I keep putting my hand in the way of the. But I'm just trying to, you know, point it out. This, you know, I, it's so weird because you can definitely tell that. He had this, like, inspiration from Norman Rockwell. This one's a little bit harder to see. Let me see if I can bring it closer to the camera. Look at that. That's amazing. I'd love to be able to ink over that, but I don't have the chops, nor would I want to try to do that. Now look at this one. This, this might be one of my favorite pieces in the book. But I do think that there's just this weird stiffness. But who am I to say, you know, critiquing Neil Adams. I'm going to talk about this piece in a second because this piece to me, I have some issues with. But that pencil work on that is just unbelievable. Now this piece... This piece reminds me of Frazetta. I don't know why it reminds me of Frazetta, but it just has that Frazetta feel. He definitely was looking at a lot of Frazetta at this time. I'm actually going to look at this piece. I don't know the... So it's Luna done for Warren Publishing. This is a black and white line version of the Frank Frazetta painting for an issue of Vampirella. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. It's a black and white line version of the Frank Frazetta. So did he just trace that? Or do his own version on Frazetta? But I mean, look at that gesture. It's just an S-curve going through there. He drew... I mean, man. I mean, God. That looks like... That looks like something Frazetta would draw. Definitely Frazetta, for sure. I don't know why. I mean, I guess Neil did his own, you know, homage, I guess, to Frazetta, but looks great. Now we have some panels. I feel like in 1975, if you saw this, it would have blown your mind, you know. So I feel like there wasn't a lot of insight into what was going on behind the scenes. But maybe. But yeah, that's a great, great page. Now look at this one. I actually want to flip this upside down. Or flip it to the side. Look at that. Man. That is unbelievable. I mean, that is a master right there. That is Neil Adams at his finest. I wonder how long that took him to draw. Man. What a beautiful drawing. Sheesh. I could look at that page for hours. I mean, look at that. How can you not dig that? How can you not love that? How can you not say that Neil was one of the greats? Not overly too realistic. It just kind of is just very gestural. The form is great. The gesture is great. I mean, everything is great there. The anatomy, perfect. 
the foreshortening, unbelievable. That is Neil at his finest. Really great. I actually didn't see this one. Another page. Oh, I get it. It's uh, it's an ad. Oh, that's cool. It's an ad he did. Gonna get into there. That face, man. That face is very odd. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that shadow. Man. God. The master. So we have another piece here. I'm going to look closely. Let's take that in. Look at that. I'm going to bring that close. Man. I'm assuming he inked his own work there. I'm assuming he did. Amazing. Oop, don't want to show that one too quickly. Look at that. Man, his anatomy. What a style, man. What a style. And then you get this more cartoonish thing. I mean, he could draw anything. And he could draw in any style. I know this is for the boomers here, but... Yeah. Now, this one's going to be a little difficult to see. Here. But, I mean... This is probably... You know, Neil and the preliminary section. I mean, this is just like, I mean, look, I mean, this is a sketch to him. Not a lot of shadow going on there. I mean, look at that. Man. Very Frazetta-like, but kind of in own, Neil's own style. Who would think that he could, you know, draw such good animals? But then again, he's Neil fucking Adams. I mean, what do you expect? Has Neil ever drawn anything that looks like shit? <laughs> no. Don't think it's possible. He had an ego. A million miles wide. But he had the skills, man, to back it up. So we got another piece. I don't know if these are... Uh, I don't know if these are more ads. It's great. Just, man, unbelievable. I do wish that there had been more. I know it's the art of Neil Adams, but I wish there had been more uh, sketches. You know. Probably take out a pencil and I'm not using my crack nails. <laughs> Look at that. And he really could do any style. One of the best. One of the greats. We definitely lost one of the greats. Oh, this gesture here. You would think that, you know, contrapposto. One would go that way. 
Well, actually, it is that. Yeah, it is that way. Duh, stupid. Shoulders going that way. Pelvis going that way. Sometimes it's a little difficult to find it, you know. You go. I know the contrapostus here somewhere. I mean, look at those. Look at that anatomy. He was no Rob Liefeld man. He could draw feet. Man. Now this one's odd. This looks like it's just a collage. I mean, I'm sure there's some drawing in there, but... Now, this is cool. <laughs> Speaking of Richard Corbin. 14 by 11 prints. Dollar fifty each print. And set for three. <laughs> and then you got this piece on the back. Which I'm going to zoom into. Give me a moment. Just going to... Try to get the zoom here. Oh, I don't know how good the quality is. Hold on. I mean, look at that. I mean, Bushema is my favorite Conan artist. Um, but man, I mean, that's Neil. Neil at his finest, man. That anatomy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And then we got this back piece, which is the spirit. Oops. Hold on. Let's zoom back out. So, yeah, I'm shocked that nobody covered this one. But uh, I would definitely say if you could get it, definitely get your hands on it. Uh, and I like that it has all the descriptions of everything. There's Neil himself. But, uh, yeah. Absolutely love this. 1975, man. I would have gone nuts for this. I mean, this one, man. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that. It's very hard to see. Because it's a sketch, but I think it might be the paper it's on. But, uh, yeah, man. Unbelievable. Well, Neil, you were the man. Thank you so much. And I'm going to actually have uh, Volume 2 on the way. So I'm going to take a look at that. I'm very excited. I also have a Bisley, Simon Bisley sketchbook coming along, so I'm very excited about that. But, uh, yeah, man, Neil Adams. What a loss. What a great, what a great artist. I don't like his realistic stuff, you know. I'm not into, I'm not into, I mean, I, I like this sort of, but I don't know if it's maybe the inking I'm not into. I don't like the, the movie poster stuff because it just looks like it was, you know, traced. I'm not into this either. It looks great, but it reminds me of like a Norman Rockwell, like an Andrew Loomis. I'm not into that style. But man, this, unbelievable. This, amazing. Um, I mean, even this is great. This is absolutely great. I mean, this was Neil. Oh, man, this guy again. I just could go back to this guy. This was Neil in his prime. Unbelievable. Unbelievable artist. So, yeah, that's it. That's Neil. Thanks.